Morning girls, how we doing? We are back with Chantel Marie, Foodie Beauty, Foodie of the Reverts of the Merriams of the Everydays. This is the best food in Kuwait. I'm sure she has said that more than once. <laughs> uh, Jiresh, Ash, and uh, Bukhari. Uh, I don't know why, Bukhari looks like it's probably the one that should be easiest to pronounce. And for some reason, I think I butchered that one the most. Um, fantastic. I don't know, it's so weird. I actually have seen this exact setup before. It's not the same shop or anything like that. But when I was watching the people call the Frugal Travelers, they went with their local tour guide into one of these shops and he explained each of the foods as they took them out and they kind of chatted back and forth with the, with the worker. So, Sala, because I see your knobbly knees there, I have high expectations for you. Hopefully it's not a Western woman because we all know how that'll go. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Some nice persona music in the background. Very nice. Hello. Oh, there we go. This looks like diarrhea. Sala loves it. There you go. Oh. Sorry, I, I I literally... Okay, I went back because I was like, ah, I must have missed it because I was too busy looking at it being what the fuck is that? Because like I said, it looks like diarrhea. Uh, I went back and said, oh, I noticed there's text at the bottom of the screen. Let's quickly go back because I'm sure it's her explaining what it is. Nope, never mind. <laughs> it's not. Here we go. Okay. Thank, no, thanks for the awkward suit. Uh, Salah, are you like socially awkward? Well, answer my own question there. Could you not have gone up to him and said, hello, do you mind if I film inside that vat, please? No? There you go. <laughs> he saw it. It's so awkward. He noticed this guy pick up these two. And he stayed on the wrong side of this pillar of shit so he couldn't even see it. Good work, Salah. Jesus, fuck. Are we going to get told anything? What's that? What's What was that? What was put in there? What was that? Why? <laughs> he, this this worker must know Salah's in language. He just wants away from him. Oh, there we go. Oh, Goresh. That looks slightly more like diarrhea. There we go. Fantastic. We're gonna hear anything? No? Nope. No, never mind. Cool. I didn't want to. I didn't want to know anything about it. Actually, I'm. I'm not interested. Oh, Salah. If only you had long arms or could go outside and fill them. Nope. You're not gonna see that. Oh, oh there. <laughs> there you go. That's why she came here. <laughs> oh my God. Did he walk in and say it's for Chantal? And he's like, Ah, okay. That's a three scooper right there. <laughs> Look how much rice there is. Oh my god! I just pick up one more grand. Oh, there you go. It's a big old piece of chicken. Oh, there you go. Some stuff, I assume, because I can't see it. There you go. I thought he was going to be generous. He's going to give one more scoop. Just because, you know, this is Chantel. Nope. Nope, we're not find anything of it. Nope. We good? We good? Nope. Yep, that's good. That's, that's a bag. Goodbye. Hello, guys. Hi. Really? Where is the rice? Where is the chicken? She Look at this face. Look at this smug ass face here. Being like, ah, I've definitely tricked them. They definitely don't think I'm about to eat all that rice and chicken here because I only have this stuff on my plate. Ah, I've definitely won this. Assalamualaikum. Welcome Hi. back to another video. Hi. So, today I have... Um, uh, video. you also look like you haven't lost any weight. So I just thought I'd just chime in with that bit of information quickly. Because in the last video, I was like, actually, she might have looked like she's lost a little bit of weight. No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> she, she looks normal. Yo, um, going into more detail uh, on these foods, these new... Uh, these, uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these, uh, uh, Jesus, fuck. Also, she's about to call these new foods. How the fuck are they new foods? Like, like I said, even I know these, these things exist. This is like meant to be like... A really important Kuwaiti dish because it was one of the things introduced in the, by that tour guide as like really important. What's this down here? Oh, this is, I must see her pickles. I was genuinely curious. I thought maybe this is her drink because you know, she said, I'm not drinking juice. I only ever drink water now. Foods I've tried not that long ago. Uh huh. Last week. Sure. And um, I think you have I've, eaten literally every type of food that is available, not just in Kuwait, but also in the fucking world. I've fallen in love with them ever since. They're oh, so I don't like you. Wow. And, uh, Imagine foodie beauty getting obsessed with food. And eating it constantly. Nah, she's lying to me. I can't believe that. I know a lot of you from the West watching me. Have never heard of this. <laughs> a lot of you from the West. Okay, world traveler food beauty. Calm the fuck down. Bro, if you actually leave your house, I'll allow you to start saying the West and the Middle East and all that shit. I'll allow you to start saying that. I'll allow you to fucking do the role play. As long as you actually ever leave. You didn't even go to get this fucking food. You sent the weird rapey guy. Yes, I have never heard of this before. If you have. Wow. Um, I, well, wait, so I have. So I actually heard about this before you did. Sorry, Chantel. Do you know what? Well, when, once you move away from the deck of evil West that you're from, because I must be from the Middle East as a person who's heard about this food fucking before she did. Oh, so if you're from the regions that... Uh, 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 makes this <laughs> the worst person describing anything. And especially 
Food. How do you suck at describing food? Your 500 point end is literally your entire life. It's wonderful food, and you know what it is? Please feel free to comment. Um, Are you not going to tell us? Do you not know? As you saw in the opening there. Uh huh. Um, it's in a big vat. It is. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I, I'm so glad I was right with the uh. <laughs> this is. Uh. <laughs> I can't wait for her to describe it as food, and that's all she has. Arish. Yep. That. Oh, wow, I, I couldn't see it there, thanks. It was, so, it was so subtle on that very small plate that you have there. Ash. Yeah, I know. Some wheat bread. That's, that's, that's bread, really? Like they make it fresh every day, all wow. the time. So it's, basically- It's bread. <laughs> Does she think fresh bread is like purely a Middle Eastern thing? No other country, every country has like a requirement. Make that bread and just put it in the corner. Make it sit there for two days. We're not eating that yet. That's too fresh, it'll kill our- White people with pallets. <laughs> As you saw, I wanted to show you guys. I took oh. a lot to film for me uh, when yep. he ran in. I noticed he was absolutely dog shot, which is really weird because he's been filming with you for literally a year. To get the food, they have these big um, yep. vats and yep. they put I, yep. This, yep. these foods inside yep. le le for a long time. Thank you for explaining what we already saw. <laughs> and you see, they even have a lid on it. And then when you ask for it, they lift the lid. And they get a big spoon. It's not as big as the spoon that I eat with, which, by the way, is just a tablespoon, by the way. Definitely just a tablespoon, guys. And then they scoop it into a little container, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just playing it to you. It's kind of silly. Time, and then they serve it up. Um, oh, my God. That's traditionally how they do it. And it's traditionally how they do it. They put it in a pot. There you go, guys. The Q80 tradition. They have it in a pot. And um, sometimes they also cook them in, like, these big clay pots. Yeah. Um, that's probably more traditional than in a big fucking metal vat. So yeah, so Jerish, in case you're wondering, is I am. cracked wheat. Uh -huh. Jerish just means cracked wheat, like wheat. Wow. And it's wheat in its whole form, so it's not wow. stripped, it's full of fiber. Fun, fucking fantastic. I'm amazed you haven't used the term old food yet. And phytonutrients. It's phytonutrients? Did she just drop a fucking phytonutrient at me? Bro, she probably thinks phytonutrient is the food you give to a dog. Oh, um, Kuwaiti dish. And it's, um, there's also, in other countries, it's made in other countries, like in Saudi Arabia. It's made in other countries, really. It's in other countries. It's not just made only in this place. How weird. Almost like bread. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's basically like a savory porridge. Yeah. Um, just like so many places. Like, so, uh, like, America has, like, I don't know what it's called. Cream corn, isn't it? Where it's like a corn porridge. It's like... This isn't unusual. In Japan, when I went to, like the only time I went to like uh, uh, the, the breakfast offering in the hotel, I went down and I accidentally went to the wrong back because it was a big rice cooker and it was a uh, okayu. It was um, not the cat from Hollow Life. It was the actual rice porridge that they have as like breakfast. And I had that for the first time and it was like, okay, I guess. But like, this isn't unusual that people make like, like a softer cooked down version of their staple food. It's not even close to unusual, and she's explaining explain this. Like, this is, like, fucking mind-blowing to her that a porridge exists. Yes, you can have savory porridge. It doesn't have to be sweet. Wow! Like, with, uh, Everyone knows that. Every- You're the fatty who fucking doesn't. Um, cracked or crushed wheat in its whole form, so it has the whole- Oh my god, it. did I actually- Oh, sorry, I didn't actually dang, fucking re I didn't accidentally rewind. Holy shit. Thing. And, uh... Arabic spices, tomato. Uh, Arabic spices, such as the Ar Arabic. Does it does it speak the language or something like that? She's a fucking idiot. And this is. I like honestly admit she didn't say Islamic spices or something like that. Like she has a little fucking head scarf on each of them. Like Jesus. Like imagine trying to explain stuff. Imagine if I just came to you guys and just said, "Yeah, I'm gonna go and have some meals, you know, with Irish stuff in it." I know, firstly, you're all fucking typing potatoes. Fucking first, racist. First, fucking all y'all are racist. Like, but like, it's like if I just was as big as that. Oh, it's very Irish. It's like, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, like genuinely, the fuck does that mean? You're the one trying to be like a cultured world traveler, dainty woman who's totally ingratiated with the culture. And it's like, what is it? It's like uh, wheat, but cracked, uh, but whole, and uh, Arabic. And it's like, is that, this, this is it? <laughs> is that all you have? With chicken. So you can see little chunks of chicken in there. Wow. And um, it's it's just, it's so delicious and savory and yummy. And I love it. So and you can't explain it at all. This is like a Persian dish. And it's and it's what? made with... Is, is, that, is that different to Arabic? Beans, chickpeas, lentils. Uh -huh. um, I'm just going to say, I literally could fucking tell by looking at it. Yep. Spinach? Onions, a wee bit of spices, spinach? 
bunch of herbs. And uh, uh, what, are uh, uh, Arabic spices this time, or is it Persian spices this time? There's spinach, a lot of spinach in there. Wow, okay, I'm basically a fucking nutritionist, obviously. She, I, I'm sorry, how fucking obvious was it that that had spinach in it? I love it. And of course I have some pickles. <laughs> Go there, I have some pickles. And so why is that the only time she even sounded close to being happy about eating this fucking meal? Like, holy shit. It's like, yeah, I got some fucking wheat and it's like real, it's like all nice and stuff. And I've got this and it's like beans and stuff. Like I've got some pickles as well. Eat a little bit with you guys to show you. Yeah, it's a mukbang, I know. Yeah, I just wanted to show you. Guys. I basically didn't say, yeah, but don't worry, this isn't a mukbang. Maybe she didn't just immediately say that. Is, um... So, one of my eat a wee bit. Okay, is this her idea of what a little bit is? Like this entire meal? Or is she gonna take like a little bit of that meal? I wonder which one we're gonna get. Your favorite. Oh, it's your new favorite? Here. Again, a crazy. That's so weird because Salah also got that giant portion of rice with the chicken, which was your previous favorite meal. It's so weird. Like he, he must have got that just for himself. Obviously, he's not gonna go eat that immediately afterwards. And definitely for one is the Jerish. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you eat it with bread like that? Look at that. I know, we all know. We have seen you eat with naan bread more than fucking enough we know. And they cook it for so long until it becomes like a creamy. Are you trying to describe what porridge is again? Like, gee, for someone who calls herself foodie, she seems confused about the concept of food. A texture? Wow, crazy. No way, guys, this isn't a mukbang or anything, though. It's not. Is she gonna tell us what this is called now? It's not I like ash. this ash. That's See, it. I fucking knew. I knew she was gonna say ah. Oh. She's like, like I said, she's like fucking Pokemon. Jesus Christ, you're so obvious. Anytime you do fucking anything, this fucking private ass piles face. Traditionally, ash has spinach in us. Persian style noodles in it, but this has no noodles. Ah, uh, sure, bro. Mm. Also, what the fuck is a Persian style? Noodle. That is something you should be able to explain to me, bro. Just so you know, guys, I have a chicken wrap here, and I am eating along with Foodie Beauty on this. So, because I'm trying to cut out the bites, I'm going to take a quick bite. <laughs> it's time she takes a bite of me and Foodie. We're literally eating in sync here. It's just such a healthy, delicious comfort food. Wow. Is it? How do you know? Pickle fork. Pickle fork. Jesus Christ. Wow, that's the biggest thing that's gone in your mouth a fucking long time. Ooh. Oh, are you pretending that's all you're having? Okay. Water. Water, turtle, Bulbasaur, Charizard. It's like, Jesus fucking crap. I can't. I can't. Water. Do you guys believe me yet? I'm healthy. I'm a weight loss queen. I love it's always like a brand new water she's opening. <laughs> Trust me, guys. Oh, look at this brand new water that I have. I definitely drink this all day. You know this? Meal will keep you full. You describe this as, I'm going to sh show you eating a little bit of it, which implies that this meal is not going to eat make you full if you consider this only a little portion, which is, it is quite a lot to be fair. Like this would fill most normal humans, like 100% she's going to go and eat the rest of it after this. For a long time. It's full of protein, healthy fibers. Is it? You want to tell me about the macros there, kid? Uh... <laughs> Nope, we got. Mm. Wow. I love how unprocessed the food is. You have no idea what that even means, do you? <laughs> I eat whole foods and uh, 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 unprocessed foods, guys. Pickle. She literally has nothing. Like she during this, she has not. We don't. We're not even getting a story. It is just like eat, stares at camera. Widens eyes slightly to be like, ooh, look at me. I'm having fun, guys. Do you believe me yet? This is so fun. Yay. Pickles. And then just looks sad again and starts eating again. Coming from a place where there's so much processed food, like even in the grocery stores. Yeah, like q -Aid. <laughs> Yeah, like q -Aid. Like every, do, is she unaware that every country has processed foods? That if she wanted to get non-processed foods, she could? <laughs> Just, just, you could just do that. I, I could just do that. Here, you won't find highly processed packaged foods. Yeah, you, you know, you will. You, you lich, you lich, you will. You, you will be. I don't. Do I, I have, do I need to say anything more than that? Like, you will. Especially all the fucking cheese you get. Canned meals. There's canned vegetables, sure. No, there's also canned meals too. 
This is made with boneless um, chicken, but you can also make it with boneless meat, which is very popular. Did, did you think people would make it with bones instead? <laughs> you can make it with boneless meat instead of boneless chicken, which is like boneless meat, by the way. But like, yeah, no shit, bro. <laughs> Obviously, how are you going to stick like a fucking like entire chicken leg in there? Babe. But I could eat this like every day. You probably do several times at that. It's super affordable. Like wow. for a huge bag of this fresh bread, uh -huh. there's a place that just makes bread in like a yep. big oven. Yeah, um, and it's very cheap. I don't like a big bread. Yeah. Oven. Yes. No, I was thinking you meant in like a fucking I don't know ceramics oven or something like that. <laughs> Obviously. A big glass killing, <laughs> obviously. And they're like 10 p a loaf or something. Like they're incredibly cheap. That is like obvious. And they just pump out bread. And uh, it's a hundred fills for a big bag of like five or six breads that are like this big. Uh -huh. And they're non-processed. Like I said, the wheat germ is still intact. You can see it. Uh -huh. Can you? Do you even know what that means? <laughs> you, can, you can see the wheat germ, guys. Okay, bro. 100% whatever you're saying here. Like, yeah, like that is well known. Like, because like, like she said, like bread is nearly a utensil in that culture. I think the government even like subsidized it. I think I was in the Frugal Travelers when they were talking about it. like that they, they pretty much just said the government like subsidizes this because the bread is so important for like the culture. And it's a uh, hundred fills, which is for like about forty five cents, I think. So yeah, it's um yeah, it's yeah, yeah. very affordable. No shit. Yeah. This for a container like this each. Uh -huh. And one container like this will last me three meals. <laughs> that This is like a third of a container and you described it as a small amount that you're just showing us you eating, which implies that you 100% eat one full container at a time, no sweat. I'm sorry, if her entire argument, because obviously she wants to do the death of the West, all that kind of shit over and over and over again. Her entire argument is that Kuwait is better for her because she loses so much weight because all that kind of fucking just nonsense. Like her old larp and she's lost 15, 20 kilograms, whatever the fuck she's pretending to have lost so far. But then all she talks about is how much food she can buy and how cheap food is. That's all she talks about over and over again. When everyone keeps saying the only reason you're in Kuwait right now is to run away from Canada because you don't have to pay the taxes and because you can get cheap food. And that's all she talks about. So it's like, yeah, we're kind of right. Um, is 400 fills each. So that's about $1.50. Wow. A dollar thirty American, about a dollar seventy Canadian. Wow. This is like the most specific she ever gets, and it's a try and flex that she can get basically some fucking wheat porridge for like a couple bucks. I was like, yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe she comes from somewhere where porridge is incredibly expensive. But porridge really isn't that expensive. So so uh, take that, that West. Guys, like... the, the same thing we have seen 20 times, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 times since you came to Kuwait. Like this meal looks like about 50% of the meals you eat. Some kind of, you know, I always talk about how the food is cheap and there's like, you know, a lot of yeah. ethnic food. There's <laughs> a lot of ethnic, all the ethnics. There's so many of the ethnics around that I can get the food off. I'm so happy I can get the food from the ethnics. <laughs> there's, so, there's so much ethnic food. You could say Kuwaiti, you could say Syrian, you could say Persian, uh, whatever fucking terminology you want to go with. The ethnics. <laughs> so much ethnic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's a fucking little British rolling up to some island asking if they've got any tea. <laughs> Oh my god, I love ethnics. I mean, I love ethnic food. What the fuck? I love it. It's just like so put on and so staged because he doesn't do it like 90% of the time. And then she goes, oh. <laughs> I like got a full fucking obvious coming out. Okay. Yeah, you seem to be really enjoying it. I love Kuwait. Do you? <laughs> Please don't kick me out. I get excited about leaving Kuwait, going to Canada, eating lots of food in Canada. You love Canada when you're there. It's just like lame because if you like Kuwait, 
you wouldn't be this. Like, it's really sad. Like, when I say, like, I love Japan, it's like, okay, how do you show you love from Japan? Oh, well, I buy lots of stuff from there. Obviously, I like to c contribute to their uh, economy. I was like, well, what, what else do you do? Well, when I go there, I ingratiate myself in their culture. I like to go and do lots of traditional stuff. I like to, like, go around the city. I like to meet the people, drink with people, hang out with the people. And I also try and learn the language, you know? And it's like, oh, foodie, what do you like about Kuwait? I like bread! Is that it? Do, 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 have, you, have you learned any Arabic yet? I like bread! What's bread in Arabic? Bread! Br brack! I like brack! That's it. <laughs> That's it, that's all she has. You've seen me get excited about unhealthy takeout, but I also get excited about healthy... Ethnics. I like, I get excited about ethnics. Real, unprocessed food. How about you eat a fucking apple, bro? <laughs> that's so cringe. She's trying so hard, guys, I've changed. Because I like unprocessed food. That's the newest word I find out on the TikTok. Look at this. Look at the unprocessedness of this. That tastes like comfort food. It tastes like unprocessed. I love it. Is this the new satiated? <laughs> Is unprocessed the new satiated? What, what is with your sores? <laughs> I noticed that when I was editing the last video, because I, I only just did the last video there, and I quick, I'm just quickly like plopping these out. I, I noticed in the last video when I was editing, she is covered in sores. Like, even her lips. Like, in the last episode, video in particular, they, were, they stood out extra. And her lips look really dry and cracked. And I have, I don't really buy the whole being sick thing. I think it was, like, a scam. I think it was, like, a cry for attention. I think that, all that kind of shit. But she's really broken up. And I've heard people say, like, when, with diabetes, you can get, like, holes and, like, sores and all a lot easier. So is it something to do with that, I guess? Pickle. <laughs> uh, pickle. Uh -huh. Just eat that hole. There you go. If you love spinach. Yep. If you love spinach and ethnics. You're gonna love that. Yeah, I assume. You're gonna love the ash. I think if you like food, you'll probably like it because it sounds very nice. You're just doing a really bad job of selling it. Because right now, I have no idea what it'll taste like because you described it as Persian. And that is Arabic. That is literally the description you've given me as to the flavor, like the flavor palette of those ones. Because it's like, okay, I know what spinach tastes like. Okay, I know what wheat, you know, tastes like. I know what like porridge tastes like. I know what, you know, like chickpeas and all tastes like. I know what all those taste like. But like the main thing that's going to give it a kick is the spice. And you can't describe what the spice is. I feel of beans, lentils. See the lentils and beans. I can't, I hope I can see the spices. How about that? How about you give me the spice list? The turmeric. Anti-inflammatory turmeric. Oh my god. Yeah, you're you're definitely eating it for fucking medicinal reasons. Calm yourself down, Katie. Oh yeah, just stick your finger in there. There you go, kid. Fantastic. You know, food is I really hope she doesn't try and make it sound like food is like a cure-all or medicinal or something like that. Because I don't know how to politely point out that she has five hundred points and she is literally dying because of food. And I don't have to tell her to fuck up. It's so rich in culture, you know? And I explain the culture to me, though. You haven't been able to explain the culture yet. You literally described it as Arabic and Persian tastes. It really interests me, like the different... Do you? It doesn't. ...foods they have in different countries. Like what? <laughs> like what? Anything. You literally think Kuwait doesn't have processed foods. That, that's how fucking stupid you are. You think Canada has only processed food and Kuwait has no processed food. That's how stupid you are. You literally think Kuwait doesn't have anything in tins. <laughs> that's how stupid you are. So, anything? What's the culture about this food? Want to tell me? Why is this a stable food? It's usually... Why is this the stable food? There's so much culture surrounding it. <laughs> did I did I hit rewind there? <laughs> I like their culture because of this uh, culture. Wow. Do you know what? If you just say the same word twice in a sentence, that probably makes it a complete sentence. Mm, I can taste the culture. Oh, look at the culture of my plate. I need to learn so much. <laughs> then please do. <laughs> Guys, you can learn so much. I'm not going to, but you can. Anything? Look at that, oh, look at that culture going in my mouth. Mm. I can't wait for her just to leave just that minute. I'm full. <laughs> no, we're actually gonna go for it? There you go. Anything? Mm. Thank God for good food. Mm. You're literally dying because of it, but okay. <laughs>
Oh, oh, look at that culture. Oh, culture. Mmm, taste the culture. It's like Skittles, but instead of rainbow, it's culture. Usually freeze the leftover bread. Yeah, definitely, bro. But it's very fresh, so, it, you know, if you don't freeze it... God. Uh, 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 it'll never be the same. There's no preservatives, right? When you... You're a fucking idiot. Do, do you think it's the same after you're frozen it? She's a fucking idiot, isn't she? Buy um, loaves of bread, like uh, Wonder Bread. That that can last for a long time. No, <laughs> it's like weird how long it can last. Wow. But if you have fresh bread with no preservatives, you can tell because it goes hard the next day. Does, so you have to really okay. preserve the bread. By freezing it, which means it tastes like shit afterwards. <laughs> like, okay. Well, guys, I got fresh bread. Has she ever heard of, I don't know. It, it, it's an unknown thing. It's all about the culture of the food, guys. So you guys might not understand. It might be a solely Irish thing. It's called a bakery. <laughs> Has she ever heard of a bakery where they make, you know, fresh breads and pastries and everything God did? Has she ever heard of this, like, must be entirely unique Irish thing that we don't... Well, she did talk about, like, the food is culture. Well, our food, obviously, is the culture of Ireland of making fresh bread occasionally. Bro, like, she really makes it sound like this is fucking insane and is a magical concept to make fresh shit. Like, I realize she has a real fucking issue about cooking. Like, we're not like you, Chantel. So. Like, Chantal. But it's never the same as when it's fresh, fresh. She's a fucking <laughs> right idiot. It's like there's just, just a small building that just does There's like an oven. Oh my God, we seriously back to describing it. The culture of the food, guys. What's it like? Oh, there's an oven. Bread. And you just see people lining up. So. Yeah, imagine. People go to the shop and they buy stuff. That's crazy. I can't wait to go to Q8 and find out about the culture by lining up to buy things. What? <laughs> Weird people. And for 45 cents for a bag, you can't beat that. You can't. No, you probably, Anyways, guys, you probably can't if you make it yourself. I just wanted to share with you this wonderful meal. Wow. If yeah. there's nice mukbang. Any of you for, who are from Kuwait and want me to try any kind of... <laughs> okay. <laughs> if there are any of you here from Kuwait. Okay, bro. It's so weird because, like, previously you claimed that there were, and there were numerous people who had approached you in the street because they recognized you, but now it's only if anyone watches her from Kuwait. A restaurant, any kind of um, different cuisine. It's it's very multicultural. How about uh, you do this thing called a uh, fucking Google search that shit. Guys, do what do you want me to eat? I'll recommend shit to- How about you just Google search fucking Kuwaiti food? That's all you need to do. The fact that I knew about this shit before you did really shows you should be fucking humiliated as a world traveler foodie. I haven't even been in the fucking country and I knew that existed. Cultural here when it comes to food. And I'll tell you, the majority so far that I've seen, um, there's Afghani food. Wow. Um, this restaurant's run by an Afghani person. Wow. Um, Kuwaiti. How the fuck do you know that? You, I'm sorry. One, you haven't been there. Salah fucking went there for you. Two, you don't speak the language. You have literally no idea. Salah just lies to you. He just says shit. Gulf country food. You know, um, <sighs> Saudi Arabia. Guys, you know if you go to the Middle East, you can get Middle Eastern food. I know, it's fucking crazy. It's almost like if you come to Ireland, you can get food from like England, Wales, Scotland. You know, like the, the countries around us. You know, if you go to, like, France, you can get it from, like, England, Germany, France, Spain. You know, like, the, the countries around. It's weird. It's almost like uh, countries exist. <laughs> countries exist. And people pass between them. I know it's insane. Food, you might not understand this because it is all about the culture of the food. Even though the idea of, like, I guess immigration is fucking confusing to her. Arabian, uh, there's a huge Indian population here. So there's yep. a lot of Indian uh, run yeah. restaurants, Indian restaurants. Yep, everyone knows this. Um, there's a huge Filipino um, wow. population so there's a lot of filipino food i gotta take Appreciate you guys to the bro i'm just gonna say how about you start with actually teaching us about arabic food first if you're doing this whole like i love the middle east middle east what was it middle east is best vibe or whatever the fuck she said how about you actually try and learn and teach us about that before you expand to going guys there's filipino stuff do you know what i'm sure there is i could go into like, i don't know i could go to maybe that's go belfast or like go to dublin like the capitals i go to either of those and i can find a filipino restaurant laos Cambodian, probably, Kenyan, I don't know. I could find a wide variety. And we're in a tiny little fucking island here. There is other, it's, it's, it's not like you just come here and it's just European food, you know? Every country nowadays, especially like major countries, especially like she likes to call it really Q8, is like the richest country in the world. <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be multicultural. I guarantee there's a British pub or an Irish pub somewhere in fucking Kuwait. I know it's gonna be really boring because it's gonna be a dry pub, but I guarantee they fucking stole an idea at somewhere. <laughs> the Filipino areas. 
where there's restaurants and things. It's um. There's restaurants and things in the Filipino restaurant area. That is fucking insane, bro. You don't even leave your house. There's a lot of. I, I've never tried like authentic Filipino. Food. You also never tried leaving your apartment. Food before, so there's a lot of. Wow, you're a terrible food. foodie then. You're uh, um. Person. <laughs> There's so many places, and I have to wow. tell you, um, you've tried fuck all of them because you eat the same things over and over. That chicken Mac Boosling we've seen, you've eaten that four hundred thousand fucking times. That is how lame you are as a fucking foodie. Thing and they make the best shawarma, and uh, I love the makluba. Yeah, crazy, bro. Uh, I can't believe it is Liddy just a fatty just sitting there just reading off a list of food that she likes. That's it. That's it. That's all, literally all it is. It's like if I just sat there and go like, oh, there's a place down the road, and they, the pizza they make, oh. And then beside that, the Chinese, oh. The honey chili, oh. Honey chili chicken, oh. Charcuterie fried rice, oh. Th then you go across the road from that, the lasagna, oh. It's like if I, it's like, bro, you're literally just sitting here after having eaten a full fucking meal, talking about other meals and sounding like you're an orgasm every single time you do reference something. A lot of Lebanese food. Wow! So crazy. It's almost like the Lebanon's not that far away. It's also part of the fucking Middle East. There's just like it's just it's just like food. So wow, like every country. That's crazy. They do have a huge Western influence as well. Obviously, um, they have a lot of restaurants like you know they have Texas Road. She, she acts like it's like a fucking new thing, and she's like disgusted and upset about that. House. They have. Um, a chili. That's so weird because you said there's no processed food like whatsoever in all of Kuwait. And obviously the evil west is there, so there must be. They just have- She is cutting because like someone's making noise in the background. I've heard it like repeated noise throughout this video. I'm assuming there must be a new family moved in. I bet she is fucking raging. A ton of American restaurants. Um, but yeah. what interests me American, is yeah. the more- I know she said there's a ton of American restaurants. I was like, yeah. About 50% of the places you've gone to so far have been McDonald's or fucking Burger King. I still remember your first gym vlog where you went to Burger King on the way to the gym. Ethnic food. You know, the more homemade. There's more ethnic food. Gee, what a fucking, what a way to describe it. It's like, well, what we have here, guys, is evil West food and ethnic food. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, she's so tone deaf. Food. So, that's, that's, uh. That's the, the ethnics. That's where it's at. I go and throw pennies at them and say, ethnic, dance for me and make me some bread whilst you're at it. That's where it's at. I mean, I've had burgers and fries for days when I was in Canada. And when you're here. <laughs> you know, I could, whatever. You can always get a burger. Oh, can you? You can't always have Jarish unless you're in. You probably can. Like, you probably can. I, gu I guarantee I can find a restaurant that serves out here. The Middle East, or you find like a niche restaurant somewhere, you know, but. Oh, wait, so you can have it anywhere. You guys, you can't have this anywhere but the Middle East and also everywhere else. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. It's, it's like if she was in Canada and she was fucking gushing like it's about fucking poutine. I was like, oh, you can just have poutine here in, in Northern Ireland. Where there's poutine. There's several poutine restaurants apparently nowadays. I've never been to any of them, but apparently there are several of them. So, congrats. <laughs> She's a fucking idiot. You can't have this anywhere else in the world apart from everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> She's so, so stupid. Anyways, I hope you found this video a bit interesting. Um, what, what was going to be interesting about it? You didn't teach us anything. We'll see you guys in the next video. Guys, I hope you find this interesting because, you know, there's this and it's by the ethnics. And it's, um, um, uh, uh only available uh, in the Middle East. And also every other country that exists. And uh, they make bread. And people buy the bread. And they still make more bread after that. Oh, I've learned so much about Kuwait. I, I feel like I've actually traveled there. I'm going to cancel my plans. I'm going to, next time she goes back to Canada, I'm going to cancel plans. I'm not going to Kuwait. Why would I bother to go to Kuwait? But I basically feel like I'm sitting in the room with her there. Fucking so stupid. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.